there's certain combinations of flavors that just work. Basil and tomato, apples and cinnamon, combo shiitake and dried fish, cilantro, lime, and chilies. You know, the stuff that's beloved worldwide for a good reason. And today, we wanted to introduce you to another combination that we believe belongs in that same illustrious league, the Laoyo, or Old Buddy, flavor profile. Hailing from the city of Nanning in the center of Guangxi, it's most commonly seen in noodle or rice noodle soup form, and is a mix of garlic, doucher, aka Chinese fermented black beans, fermented chili sauce, and pickled bamboo shoots. Together, they are more than the sum of their parts. It's an aggressively delicious combination that not only works for noodles, but is also something that you can totally get creative with. Now, in Nanning, there's definitely a bit of mythology surrounding the genesis of this flavor profile. The only thing that people can seem to agree on is that it was serendipitously invented using relatively random ingredients from the cupboard. Our favorite story revolves around a likely apocryphal tea house. The story goes that the tea house had a beloved regular, you know, the sort of customer that blurs that line between friend and patron. There was one week when the owner of the establishment noticed that his regular hadn't come in for a few days and inquired around about his whereabouts. Apparently, the customer was bedridden, battling a bad cold, and so the tea house owner decided to go over and whip up a hot soup for their old buddy, using what he could find in his buddy's pantry. The specific mix of chili and pickled bamboo apparently made the sick customer completely sweat out his cold, and he was able to come out to the tea house the very next day. Now, obviously, don't hold us to any claims of restorative properties, but what we can promise is that this soup is absolutely delicious, and not overly difficult to boot. Before we get into it, though, let's swing back to those primary components, because I can already hear a few echoes of, but Chris, Steph, I don't think I can find pickled bamboo shoots. Which, like, fair point. See, this is Swan Swan, sour bamboo shoot, a mildly stinky shoot that gets both its sourness and its depth via lacto-fermentation. And while we'd love to teach you how to make it one day, as far as I know, it's just as impossible to get fresh bamboo shoot outside of China anyway. That said, what is available outside of China is this stuff, packaged pickled bamboo shoots. They're a little more piquant and missing out on a bit of funk, but they have the advantage of being super available on both Amazon and Wii, and they can totally work in a pinch. Second ingredient we're subbing today, what would be a Guangxi-style fermented chili sauce. Now, luckily, this stuff is basically just the standard mix of fermented chilies, garlic, and ginger, so we'll be swapping in the actually internationally available Hunan Duojiao, aka chopped chilies. And if you can happen to find any Guizhou Zalajiao pickled chili, that'd be even closer. Last sourcing bit, doucher fermented black soybeans. Easy enough, I promise. These are super available pretty much everywhere under the name Yangjiang Preserved Beans, and ginger version is also okay. Great ingredient, recommended to have around. So, high-level overview time. First, you'll prep your bamboo shoots by giving them a squeeze, slice, and a quick toast. Then you'll mince up some garlic and do so together with the doucher, and, because we're doing noodles today, separately boil your noodles to about al dente. Then, we'll prep a bit of meat, today some lean pork together with a bit of liver, and give it a quick marinade. After that, we'll prep a simple little sauce for a soup, and then make said soup by frying the pork, our Lao Yo Holy Trinity, and adding in the sauce together with some stock. Then we'll just finish it all off with our liver and noodles, and that's pretty much it. So, right, bamboo shoots. Here we're using this package, again, totally available on Amazon and probably your local Chinese supermarket, four sticks to a serving. Give it a squeeze and a julienne, then a quick toast. This was just a dry walk over a medium-high flame, quickly toasted until dry and ever so slightly charred, or about two minutes. Next up, three cloves of garlic, just give that a quick mince, and chop it together with a half tablespoon of those docher black beans, and set those aside. Now, let's talk some noodles. Today, we'll be using a bit of fresh alkaline egg noodles, which are a traditional choice for the dish, but don't let this be a barrier for you to make the soup. Another classic choice at noodle shops in Nanning is rice noodles, and Guangxi-style rice noodles are super similar to Vietnamese rice noodles, so some pho noodles would also work great. But really, use what's convenient. Cantonese wonton noodles would also be great, ditto with Japanese ramen noodles, and if push comes to shove, some instant ramen noodles certainly wouldn't be bad. Just cook your noodles of choice according to your package of choice. For us using fresh noodles, this was just a quick 30-second dip in hot water, together with another quick dip in cool water to stop the cooking process. 
we'll be finishing these guys in our soup, so roughly al dente is perfect. Then, pork. Just a bit, optional for any vegetarians in the room, 40 grams worth to a serving, cut into thin sheets, then marinated with an eighth teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon cornstarch, eighth teaspoon soy sauce, quarter teaspoon liaojiu, aka Shaoxing wine, mixed well, then coated with about a half teaspoon of oil. Then for the pork liver, this was also another 40 grams worth, also cut into thin sheets, also mixed with the same marinade. And if pork liver is difficult for you to find, feel free to just double the aforementioned pork and marinade quantity instead. Then lastly, sauce. Convenient enough to prep ahead. This was just one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon rice vinegar, one teaspoon oyster sauce, quarter teaspoon sugar, an eighth teaspoon each salt and chicken bouillon powder, and a sprinkle of white pepper powder. Mix well, set aside, and now we can make our soup. So, to some sort of cooking vessel whose seasoning you won't annihilate with a sour soup, toss in about a half tablespoon lard or whatever, and over a medium flame, toss in your pork. Fry that till it's cooked, or about one minute, then remove. Now go in with another half tablespoon of lard or whatever, and still over a medium flame, add in your chopped garlic dotra mixture, together with a half tablespoon of the fermented chopped chilies. Quick mix, then in with the bamboo shoots. Another quick mix, then in with your prepared sauce. Fry all that together for about 15 seconds, then pour in 600 ml of stock. Here we're using pork stock, but chicken or vegetarian would also be great. Now let all that come up to a boil. Add back in your pork and also toss in the liver. Liver's added at the very end so as not to overcook. After a quick 15 seconds, toss back in your noodles, cook it all together for about another 30 seconds, and out. Sprinkle over a generous amount of sliced scallion, and with that, your old buddy noodles are done. So as we already talked about in the video, you can do a lot of things uh, with the soup base. You can use so many different kinds of noodles. Uh, some shops wouldn't even use stock. They would just use lard and then fry up some minced pork at the beginning. And some would even add tomatoes to it, which we are not a uh, big fans of. The point is, this base is very versatile. You can do whatever you want with it. So just go have fun and play. Alright, check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. 